The Icon Painting Studio of St. Elizabeth Convent is well known and appreciated not only in Belarus but also throughout the world. Thus, in 15 years of its existence, the Icon Painting Studio has painted icons for churches in France and Canada, and some of its latest works are now located in the Spiritual Education Center in Minsk. The icon painters follow in the footsteps of Byzantine and Russian artists of the 12th, 15th centuries and use ancient icon painting techniques. Most of the time we work with canonical icons, such as Russian icons of the 14th, 15th centuries and Byzantine icons of the 12th, 14th centuries. Sometimes, very rarely, we even paint icons in the realistic style. There are several people involved in the creation of a canonical icon. A woodworker makes a plank from high-quality dry wood. Then he carves out the ark on it, known as kovchig. Wood is chosen as the basis from the future icon because it is reliable and durable in comparison, say, with canvas or glass. Once the plank is ready, the process is taken over by a gesso maker. Gesso is a coat used to cover the plank before painting an icon on it. First, a gesso maker covers the wooden plank with canvas in order to provide better adhesive capacity of the gesso. Then he covers the plank with gesso, a mix of animal glue binder and chalk. About 15 very thin layers, one at a time. The surface layer is polished and the gesso plank is handed over to the icon painter. Apart from high professional skills, an icon painter needs great spiritual effort to paint a good icon. We start our daily work with prayer, the Ekathist to Saint Andrei Rublyov. Icon painting is an art. In my opinion, it is great art. People become deeply interested in icons. It becomes the way they live, as far as I can tell. The studio is run by the convent. There is a church nearby where the liturgy is celebrated. We take part in the spiritual life, and it cannot help making an influence on us. First of all, an icon painter makes a sketch of the icon he is about to paint. After the contours and the main lines of the image are ready, the background is covered with high-quality gold leaf, which is thinner than a human hair. It is the golden background that symbolizes the shining of the heavenly kingdom. We use the same paints for painting our icons as the ones used by ancient icon painters. All these paints are prepared from ground minerals and semi-precious stones. Scarlet is made from cinnabar, cherry colored is made from hematite. Pale blue and blue are made from lazurite and vivinite. Green color is extracted from dioptase, glauconite and malachite. These minerals are mined in the Urals by geologists. The minerals are first crushed and ground and then mixed with egg yolk. Once the background is gold-plated, the icon painter starts to paint in full color. He paints the darkest colors first, and then he covers them with layers of brighter colors. As a result, the icon is painted with light. There is a school of icon painting at the studio. We had too many orders and there was a lack of icon painters. New people were coming and we started to teach them one-on-one, -on -one, which was difficult and time-consuming. That was why we decided to organize courses to teach all the new icon painters together at once. This does not only mean showing them how to paint from the practical point of view, their education has to be comprehensive so that they would know about the history of the icon, iconography and theology. Ideally, we would like the majority of these students, or at least some of them, to end up working in our studio. Icons 
We paint namesake icons, the icons of the saint whose name one bears, wedding icons of the Holy Savior and the Mother of God are used to bless the newly wed during the sacrament of matrimony. Measure icons are crafted according to the height of a newborn baby at birth. His or her heavenly pattern is full-figured on them. Family icons are painted for a whole family featuring the saints whose names the members of that family bear. When we paint family icons, we think about those people. We choose the images of their saints, create a sketch, and this icon is painted specially for this family and no one else will have an icon like that. So it is exclusive. Sometimes people order an icon for a church as a sign of their gratitude. We paint such icons and they are placed in the church, some having the plaques with the names of the benefactor on them and some not. People tell us about real miracles. A couple was childless for 10 years. They decided to order an icon from our studio. When it was ready and they came to take it home, the woman was already pregnant and later gave birth to a baby girl. As soon as the icon is ready, it is covered with varnish. A priest says a prayer of consecration and sprinkles the icon with holy water. This labor-consuming classic technology must invariably impact the final cost of the icon, but such an icon will live for centuries. We have a restoration workshop here. People bring us icons to restore, the icons that were passed on from generation to generation. If people want to have such an icon which could be inherited by their children, grandchildren and great-grandchildren, painted icons are the best option. An icon painter creates such icons with prayer and emotion. Sometimes our clients tell us, this icon is for my daughter, she has a certain problem. May I ask the icon painter to pray for my daughter as he or she paints the icon? For me, an icon is an expression of God's love towards man. I feel that an icon is, first of all, prayer. An icon painter is not an artist in the usual sense of this word, because he can be a virtuoso of painting, but the icon will yet be dead. An icon for me is the whole universe. It is like a mystery. An opportunity to grow spiritually. An icon is the anchor, the center piece of everything. Interesting work and constant study. My thoughts are about the studio, the icons and the students. I love, I very much love this job. A way, a way of life. The path. It is a mystery that I want to touch. I become closer to God through it. It is something like talking to God. When you run into a problem, you ask God for help. When everything goes well, you give thanks. I realize that it is very beautiful and otherworldly. I would like to touch and partake of this beauty. We paint an icon and the icon also paints and shapes us in a certain sense. A person gradually opens up, is purified and washed together with the image. Icons are so beautiful. Make God help all people to realize it. This is our primary goal. An icon is full of light. The light that saves a person, heals his soul. It happens even if one simply looks at the image.